Well, good day, folks. I brought back that old stove, set it on that little cement slab. I built the stove years and years ago. As you can probably tell, this is an old oil furnace that I built years ago. Headed up at the old house. I had a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a heat saver on top, I guess you'd call that. Catalytic converter, whatever. Uh, so I don't know whatever happened to the top piece, but I just shoved that piece of pipe in. That used to be the pipe that sent heat under the house. I know it's not tall enough, but I will eventually get something and I will build that up properly. And we're probably going to leave this stove back here and just keep using it because it does work quite well. Heather is also hard at doing the laundry today. We have a whole bunch already she's got done that's already dried. So that's what she's been up to today. So she, uh, I think she's just filling the washing machine. You're just filling the washing machine right now, right Heather? And listening to your music? Yeah, I'm turning it down. So, I can, I can, sorry. <laughs> so you can hear me? No. I couldn't hear it here anyways. Oh, okay. Good. Starting to get a little low on water. Not too, too bad though. But uh, anyways, oh, my brother's down there with his uh, son's dozer. He's got a 555 John Deere of the bucket. He's doing a little bit of clearing because he wants to build a little place down there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so anyways, I brought this back. I'm going to build that barbecue for Heather's dad out of this. He dropped off an electric motor and a rotisserie, so I have to build that somehow. Brought back the little John Deere too. This is the one I've had for years and years. I use that sometimes to mow the grass around here, but it's, it's had a bad foot on the back for a while. The tire goes low, so someday I will pop that off maybe and go at it and see what it needs. We have some stuff popping up. Doing really good in the garden. Heather's lemon balm, it came back nicely. That's doing really good. All of my stuff is doing really well also. Uh, she's got a few things in here. I'm not sure what she planted in here yet. She's got a few things in there growing. Uh, my chives, they are doing really good in here. A flower garden doing really really well I just dug this up with a bucket I scooped a pile of dirt put it down right over there in fact and I just scooped these up from up at the old house brought them back and I set them right in the same spot so remove one bucket load of dirt put in a bucket load of dirt with flowers in it and done deal so I'll show you now these uh, these uh, wild Canadian plums they're they're growing too Look at these, this was a success. We have leaves starting all over here. You can see them all starting. Look at this, they're all down here. All here, they're, they're growing all the way down to the bottom. So they were a success. These ones too, they have leaves starting as well. Um, I think that's part of it, I don't wanna bust that. There's leaves starting here as well all the way down through here and this one as well they have leaves see coming out here here all down here here too it's popping out so we will get plums this year our hascap berries or honey berries i think they're also called they are also putting on fruit i seen them here this morning uh, right here, some right here starting. Just hoping the chickens and turkeys don't eat them. Yeah, you can see the little buds starting under here. And these ones too as well, you can see here. They're starting to put on fruit right here. The flowers here, they'll fall off and then the little berries will grow. Wild raspberries, they're starting to do really well. This will be right full, this whole... This whole side hill here will be right full of wild raspberries. So everything's really drying up beautiful. It certainly don't take long to dry up around here. Once that snow goes and the sun comes out, boom, it's, it dries like crazy. Heather has the washing machine going over there.
I think for now I will sit down and have a bit of a tea. I think Heather is going to join me in a few minutes as well. Getting warm now. Yeah. yeah, you can see the heat coming off it. Yeah. Well, you can see the gold is all gone off that chimney as well. Yeah. Nope, there's turkey. <laughs> hey, Jack. You're a big fella. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. His front foot swelled up. Hold that. No, it's not. It's just, well, it looks Hold a little bigger. Foot. The it's far one looks bigger. The middle. Might have stepped on something. What'd you do? You lifting weights with that one leg? <laughs> Doesn't it look larger? It is larger. Yeah, he must. He, is in, Where? he must. Have, um, you twisted it. Must have hurt it. Yeah, back off on the strut and there it will. Come on. Come here. That's right. Or he stepped on something. On. Maybe I'll look at I'll look at the bottom of his foot if I can. Come here. Come on. If he'll let me. He's too busy looking real cool right now. Aren't you? Hmm? <laughs> Come here. He knows the camera's on. <laughs> the black flies are starting. Yes, they are. I seen two of them just now. Come on. <sighs> what is that noise? Um, I think I think it was um, metal. Chickens around there, around yeah. the ductwork. Yeah. Yeah, this, <laughs> that turkey, the female turkey, she's got her head in it. Ah, she's rubbing her beak on it. Yeah. Probably that's what we're hearing. Yeah. I'm going to start on that barbecue soon. Well, we managed to get that cut apart fairly easy, come apart pretty good. So now I have to get some angle to wrap all the way around it. I have to take the feet with legs off the bottom and build something else for that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up and I have an old bed frame up there. I know it's really hard steel, but I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to fit that on there and weld that up. Maybe not tonight, I'm not sure. Maybe tomorrow, we're gonna to see. We have a live show to do tonight. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to get done. That is the lid for the barbecue. By the way, this is a barbecue. It's going to be a pig roaster. We, uh, Heather's dad dropped off the, the motor and the spit part 
uh, as the snow was on the ground. So I'm going to get at this and uh, see what I can get done. All right, so we brought the, the two bed frames back that I had up there. I have a few more of these. I always save these because you never know what you can do with these. Pretty hard to drill that stuff with uh, not a very good drill bit. It can be drilled, but it's pretty tempered, those old bed frames. So that, I will build a frame around it, kind of just like you see for the lid. There'll be one for the lid, a frame around there, and there'll be a frame around for the bottom part. And then what we're going to do, let's say, is take these legs off, and we're going to build a stand somehow for it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to clean that all up, get to welding that. Probably won't be till morning, though, folks, so... Anyways, that's about it for this video. We will talk to you tomorrow, and we'll be right at this again. Bye-bye.